What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike, it's great to see you again. Thank you for joining me, I really appreciate it. So guys, today is the perfect day to talk about my favorite networking subject, VPNs, virtual private networks. And you might think I would wanna talk about how great VPNs are, but that wouldn't be very interesting. <laughs> so today, I'm gonna give you four things a VPN cannot do. But first, let me explain what a VPN is used for. VPNs are most often used for bypassing geographic restrictions for streaming services like Netflix or Hulu. And VPNs protect you from snooping on untrustworthy Wi-Fi hotspots. And with VPNs, you gain some anonymity online by hiding your true location. And most importantly, VPNs protect you from being logged while torrenting. And with all these benefits, it would seem like you're fully protected from snooping eyes and trackers. But that's just not the case. We use VPNs on all our devices. However, it's just important to know what a VPN does as well as what it doesn't do. So that being said, let's get started. So first, a VPN cannot protect you against malware. And some people claim that VPNs actually do this, but considering how VPNs work, this is not possible. And here's why. Malware is malicious software that cyber criminals use to infect devices. And this malware targets the device's software, hardware, and files. And simply stated, malware does not target your internet's connection. A VPN encrypts your online connection and hides your IP address. And simply stated, a VPN is not programmed to secure your device. It can only protect your online data. Good antivirus software will get this job done, not a VPN. And the second thing a VPN cannot do is keep you 100% anonymous online. And you're probably thinking that's why you use a VPN, to be anonymous online 100% of the time. But can a VPN offer complete anonymity? That's a big stretch. And here's a couple examples why this is true. Your ISP still knows who you are. And your ISP, believe it or not, can see that you're using a VPN. And they also know the original IP address they assigned to you. And they still have all your personal and payment information. And governments can intercept VPN traffic. Now this is not typical, usually in extreme cases, but not often. And VPNs do not anonymize online payments. And a VPN does secure the traffic when you're making an online payment, but it will not keep your purchase secret. That's the facts. In the last example, Mobile service providers can still track geo data. Even though a VPN hides your geolocation by masking the real IP address, that won't stop your mobile service providers from seeing where you are. Like your ISP, they still have your original IP address. All right, the third thing a VPN cannot do is stop cookies from identifying you. Since cookies are small text files that are stored on your device, there's not much a VPN can do about that. A VPN server acts as a middleman between you and the web. What a VPN cannot do is intercept cookies and store them on their servers. It's not programmed to do that. And sometimes cookies can interfere with your VPN because they let websites see your geolocation, even though you have a different IP address. So be aware of that. And the fourth thing that a VPN can't do is increase your internet speed. In fact, it's kind of the opposite. Depending on which server you pick, it could slow it down drastically. For instance, if you live in Italy and you want to watch a show that's in a different geographical location, let's say the United States, so you log into a server in the United States. And because that server is far away from Italy, your speed will slow down, and sometimes drastically. So be aware of that. So the closer the server is to your location, the faster your speed will be. But your speed will never be faster than your ISP speed. Never. And for some reason, people seem to think that VPNs will increase your internet speed, but it's just not true. And the further away the server is from your location, the slower your speeds. So guys, once again, I'm not bagging on VPNs or talking bad about them. I love VPNs, but it's great to be aware of what they can't do. I hope you learned a lot today about VPNs, what they can do and what they can't do. And guys, if you found this video helpful and you liked it, please give a thumbs up and share it. And guys, don't forget, hit subscribe. It's free. And once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. You guys are all awesome. I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.